What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Digibyte. Those are the four we're going to be looking at. Hopefully, if I get a little more time later, I'll get out a video on a few more coins, but this is just what I have time to get into right now. I want to get a detailed look here at Bitcoin. We're going to be looking in on the one-day time frame. And what you can see now is we have broken clearly down through this rising channel that we've been having. We had a candle close below it, and now today's candle close is going to be very significant because what we're doing is flirting with this 30 EMA, and typically in most of our uptrends, we stay above that. Okay, we can have some wicks, some retracements down to this 60, but typically we will bounce off off this 30 and we're not so much seeing that right now we're actually seeing some selling pressure coming in so if we can't hold around 11,279 I'm gonna look down to around this 60 moving average to see if we can find some type of support off that right in here see if we can get some buying pressure and that would be around 10,779 but we have many days on this channel talked about coming back and testing this $10,500 to see if we can get that buying pressure and really turn that into a strong support because before all we had was a long wick down to it and then we started moving again. So to find some true support down in this area above $10,000 I think would be extremely healthy for Bitcoin. We're really cooling down here. You can see on the RSI now we're at 47. The area I would look at to try to find support on the RSI is gonna be about 39, 33. I'm gonna to wanna to see if we get a bounce off that area. But basically guys, you know, this is just that tough spot we're trying to find that support and how much cooling down we're actually going to end up having with Bitcoin. What we talked about last time was with the Fibonacci here. So right before we broke out our ultimate low here, right down in this area, from our low to our high, what you can see is right now we have broken down through that 0 0.236 at 11,542. And what we'd be looking to find is support off 10,972. And that's going to be off the 0 0.382. But what I was talking about is here, we really haven't retraced that much with this super long candle, a lot of manipulation there. We came and we wicked down to that 0 0.5 and then we continued moving. But to find true support, consolidate on top of that 10,500, which would be at that 0 0.5, we haven't done that yet. And I think that's something that we may get a chance to do and see if we can find that true support off that area so we can keep this trend going in the long term. But right now we're in that short term just downtrend, that micro downtrend, and we're paying close attention to it. So if we get into trading view here and we take a look at the technicals, we have 11 cell, 8 neutral, and a 9 buy. Oscillators, 1 cell, 7 neutral, and a 3 buy. Moving averages, 10 cell, 1 neutral, and a 6 buy. In terms of sell, we're looking at the MACDs of sell right now. Buy, we're actually gaining a little bit of momentum is what it's saying there. But I would be careful about this candle close today because if it is below the 30, I would bet we're going to have a significant drop here, and it could be a four, five, six hundred dollars $600. So just pay attention to those areas, guys. It's the best thing that I can tell you. So that's Bitcoin. We're going to move into Ethereum next. And also, if you get some from these videos, please, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. really help this channel out. I appreciate it. So we'll get into Ethereum, ETH right now. Is sitting about $384. We've been cooling down. Everything's needed to cool down. Our RSI was running when we were up around 450 there. RSI was sitting at about 94. So we needed this cooling down period. We're sitting on top of the 30 right now, patiently waiting to see if we're going to get a bounce off this or if we're going to have to have a deeper retracement. And right now we're not getting a lot of buying pressure to the upside here. So if we do need a deeper retracement, I'd look down around that $332 is a spot we've had our eye on for quite a while here to see if we get a strong bounce off that. Because typically, as off this 30, you would want some power coming off that, some buying pressure coming off this 30. And we're not so much seeing it right now. You can see the momentum for the volume is actually going down, RSI going down, lower highs, lower lows. So you really want to pay attention to that. If we get into the technicals, we're looking at 11 cell, 9 neutral, 8 buy, oscillators, 2 cell, 8 neutral, and 1 buy. And this is just where we have to pay attention to these levels because typically in most of these uptrends, we'll stay up above this 30 most of the time. You can see in this last uptrend that we had, for the most part, we were up above it the whole time. Over in here, you can see most of the times if we had a deep retracement, it could go back to this 60, kind of like what we're having you know, on Bitcoin right now. But these are the spots that you're going to want to pay attention to to see if we can continue this trend to the upside or if this is going to be a serious reversal here and we're going to start looking down to lower levels. Okay, so this is a time to be, be patient and also cautious, in my opinion. So that's going to be Ethereum. The next one we're going to move into is Litecoin. Litecoin's at 55, 75. We've basically just been 
in this channel here, you can see we've been having higher highs and higher lows coming in, but we are now breaking down through this 30. And last time we found support off that. You can see we have weakness in the relative strength index. We're at 45 right now. I'd look to see if we could find support off 53.97 is gonna be an area that's 60. If we don't find it there, I'm looking back to $50 psychologically right around this 49.19, which was our previous resistance. We'd want that to become support, but we're definitely cooling off right here. You can see how we had higher highs and then we had lower highs on the RSI. So basically guys, this was a position I was playing and I sold out earlier today. Just a tiny little profit. I was in at like 54.60, ended up selling out at 55 something. So I, I gave it time, I was patient, I waited, and now I'm gonna wait to see where we potentially could begin that next reversal so I can start laddering in to another position for Litecoin because I do feel as though Litecoin is one that runs really hard when it does and it's something that I wanna be a part of in the longer term but you know guys when we're having weakness and selling pressure like this you just don't want to hodl things and just ride them all the way back down to fifty dollars when i could have sold it out and tried to buy more and accumulate more at that potential fifty dollar range if we do start getting a pretty decent sell-off you can see this a pretty nasty candle that's coming in right now okay we pushed up tried to get up to about 59 47 and we saw rejection up above that and now we're starting to have a fall here so just pay attention to that litecoin right now for the technicals we're looking at 11 cell 10 neutral and a seven buy oscillators one cell nine neutral and a one buy okay so that's gonna be litecoin then next we're gonna get into digibyte all my digibyte people you've been killing it with the thumbs up and comments and everything so we want to continue to throw this in there for us out of our symmetrical triangle nice little break here Guys, our high that we're going to have to get over ultimately is going to be around 0 0.03824 is going to be the high. But right now we're trying to find support off this 60. We're having a deeper retracement. I want to see if we can bounce off this 60 in green. And that's going to put us around 0 0.02639 is going to be the area. And I want to see what type of candlestick formation we're going to have off there with volume. Right now, RSI heading straight down. We're at 43, just really losing some strength on a lot of coins right now. Got some selling pressure coming in all around the board okay so we really need to pay attention to that right now if we take a look here we have a 13 cell 10 neutral and a five by oscillators two cell nine neutral and a zero by we have to remember like we've talked about this many times these very deep retracements are very common in this space you can see this last one when we retraced it was over 40 percent so right up now i want to measure this for us so if we go from the top right here and we go down 40%, if we get another 40 percenter, that would put us to back to the top of that symmetrical triangle there. It'd be around 0 0.02240 could be a spot that we could go down into, guys. So that's what I'm talking about. These retracements can be brutal sometimes. And when you're a long-term holder or whatever, you just have to deal with that. And you have to realize that that's part of the game. When you're a swing trader, you're going to try to do the best you can to take advantage of these swings and these moves in the market. So if you get something from this, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless each and every one of you. Take care.